Hello, I'm a college Catholic, and here is a two-minute defense of the Eucharist. In Exodus 12, we see the guidelines for the Passover laid out. Many directions were given, but we will focus on the lamb. The lamb used for the sacrifice needed to be an unblemished male in the prime age of his life. In order for the Israelites to be saved at the Passover, they were to kill this lamb and eat it in its entirety. Fast forward to the time of Jesus, the celebration of the Passover by the Jewish people was a very important event. Participation in this event was not merely a re-presentation of this event, but a re-creation and a real participation in the time of the first Passover. Jews during this time believed that the coming Messiah would bring about a new exodus, entailing a new Passover meal. In the New Testament, in the Bread of Life discourse, we see Christ continuously tell the crowd that they will eat his flesh and drink his blood. When questioned, he doubles down and adds that you will not have life in you unless you eat his flesh and drink his blood. Again, his followers questioned, stating this teaching was too hard to accept. And they even decided to leave Christ because of this teaching. This is interesting because other times in the Bible, when his followers are confused about his teaching, he clarifies it. Here, however, he allows his followers to leave after they assumed he wanted them to eat his body and blood. If he only meant this symbolically, we would expect him to clarify like he does elsewhere. During the Last Supper, Christ offers up his bread and says, This is my body, later followed by, This is my blood. In ancient Greek, in the original text, the word esteen is used. This word has one translation, namely, is. Jesus becomes the new Passover lamb. He is an unblemished male in the prime age of his life. He is sacrificed for our sake. And in order for us to participate, we need to consume the lamb. To end, here's some early church fathers who believed in the real presence. 